which is the final one in the FIQ that I was looking at in the series, which is the called the addition pattern. And addition pattern, if I switch to the question now, addition pattern is basically a way of jumping through a series of numbers. We start with a number and let's say you start with two and three and what you have to do is write uh, three methods and the class and the addition pattern works like this. You get a number which is your starting number. Then you get a number you jump by. So you jump jump ahead by a certain amount each time. And then you can go back and forward, right? So you can print the current number, return the current number, go next, jump to five, so you jump by three. Or you can go backwards as well. Okay. But you can't go before the first number. That's all. So I think quite a simple, uh, simple question, but there will be little things that could uh, trick you. So let's be careful not to get tricked. Let's go to the let's load, load up Notepad next here, and let's write this class. It shouldn't take too long. I think this is going to be our fastest question so far. All right. So let's let's generate this class here. So. Now, before we write a constructor, we've got to think about these numbers. We're going to keep track of these numbers. And the first one might be keeping track of um, the starting number. So let's have a... Now, this is important. Remember to keep your class variables, your data private. Stops it from being accessed by things that shouldn't access it. So private int, and we'll have a starting point. And then we'll have a private int. We'll need to have a step value, basically taking the, the data that's in the constructor. So step and private int current. And that should be all we need to keep track of where our where we are in the in the step. Okay, so let's now create our constructor. We're taking an int start int step. We're gonna call them the same names, so when we make a constructor we need to specify this dot start equals start this dot step equals step and our current value will begin as the starting value this, this is not current current equals start and that should do it so now we've set everything up we We'll implement our implement our methods. Now, two of these methods won't return anything, no return value here, and one of them will return the current number. Next is pretty much just adding on the step value, but we have to be careful with previous because previous may go, if we're not careful, it'll go before the starting number and that's not allowed in the question. So we have to prevent it from doing that. That's a more complicated one. The first two, very easy. So I'm just going to write them out very quick. So let's have a public and a void. Next, right? not returning anything, not even any arguments. Let's just simply move the value to the next. So move the value of current. 
plus. Very simple. Nothing more needed. Okay, now this one is going to return an int. It's also very simple. It's the current number. All you gotta do is return the number that we're using. So return current. Super easy. The next one is previous. Not returning any number. However, we need to be careful. So we're gonna have a, some kind of test in here to make sure that we're not returning, uh, that we're not going back before the start number. So if current is greater than start, should do it. Then current minus equals step. This ensures that we don't go before. Now the value is always going to be in a stepping format. They, they're going to go up and down based on the step. So that, that will be enough. And that's the end. That's all we got to do for this question. Okay. Now you lose points if you don't get private. So that will lose your point. 